Good day, future engineers. Welcome back to our video tutorial. So for today's video, we will gonna be solving this problem, the forces in space or 3D equilibrium. Okay, so before we start, consider to subscribe to our channel and follow us on our Facebook page to be more updated on our future videos. Okay, so without further ado, let's start to solve this problem. So we have given the situation, the force P prevents the 375 Newton's pole from falling. The pole is sub supported by a ball and socket joint at A and leans against a frictionless wall at B. Okay, so these are the problems. Find the required force P, find the reaction at B, and find the total reaction at A. Okay. So, of course, we have the 375 Newton's uh, weight here. So, that will be acting at the center of this pole. Okay, since this pole is prismatic. Now, we will do the free body diagram in this um, 3D problem. Okay, in the joint A, of course, ball and socket joint, that will be this in the same manner of a pin support into the equilibrium. Okay, but here in 3D, um, We'll, we will be having a three components of this reaction. We have the AX, we have the AY, and we have the AZ. Okay, and walang moment reaction dito because that uh, that is considered as a hinge. Kumbaga, in, in two-dimensional view, parang hinge ito or pin support. Okay, so we have this reaction here. And take note, at joint B, I mean at point B, um, that is frictionless and nakalin lang siya dito at the xy plane meaning the reaction at point b will be normal to to, to the xy plane okay and it will be like this let's call that nb okay and take note that nb should be normal to this xy plane or that is parallel sa z axis okay Na imagine nyo, this should be parallel to the z-axis, yung line of action nito. Okay, now how to how to solve the force P or the required P para hindi mag-slide yung pole natin. Okay, ang gagawin natin dito is simplify natin yung view into two-dimensional view para mas madali siyang i-analyze. Okay, look at this. Um, we will um, look at this view in this xy plane. Okay, imagine ha. So we have this plane dito. Okay, at that plane tayo titingin. So we have this x and y axis. Okay, this point, this is point O and this is the x and y axis. And we can look at this uh, pag ganito ha, yung, yung pinakita natin. Okay, pinamove natin yung plane. So at this view, makikita natin itong pole na ito pag ganito. Okay, this is the point A and this is the point B. Parang naka plain view na lang yung tingin natin. Okay? And of course, we have the P here that is 45 degrees with the horizontal. Okay? Ang NB naman dito is if we will look at this XY plane, magiging dot na lang siya or hindi na natin yan makikita dito. Imagine nyo ba? Of course, that is parallel to this Z axis and also this Z axis is dot na lang siya dito in xy plane that is the same manner sa nb that na lang yung makikita natin dito okay now at we have this um, weight of the pole 375 newtons and ang makikita natin at joint a is ay and ax yung az of course hindi na natin yan makikita that na lang siya dito okay now look at this we simplify the drawing into two dimensional view and of course, look at this. We can compute the P by summing up moment about A. Diba? Ang matitirang anong dito is yung P na lang. Okay, klaro. Okay, so we have this dimension here. That is 3.15. Ito yon. And this one here is this one. 4 meters. Okay, and we need to calculate this distance here up to this point because we want to take moment about A. And that is just half of 3.15. Of course, that is the weight that should be acting at the centroid. Okay? Now, we can take moment about A. 
Okay, and we will write this uh, pag ganito. Summation moment about A uh, at point A that is parallel, uh, that is the axis parallel to the Z axis. Okay, oh. so anyway, pag nalito kayo dito, uh, disregard nyo na lang yan. Summation moment about A na lang. Okay, anyway, the solution um, should be, should what matter the most. Okay, so we have, um, we need to calculate the moment that will cause rotation about this axis, either counterclockwise or clockwise. Okay, so ito yon. Of course, this P has um, components, the horizontal component and the vertical components. And P cosine of 45 degrees is the horizontal component of P multiplied by the moment arm 4. Okay, and the vertical component naman, which is this one, P sine of 45 degrees multiplied by moment arm na 3.15. Then this um, weight will cause counterclockwise rotation about A, so minus 375 times the moment arm 1.575. Okay, so actually it's up to you, no? Ano yung gagawin yung positive counterclockwise or clockwise rotation? It's up to you na lang. Okay, so here I made it uh, the clockwise rotation as positive. Okay, so as you can see, we can calculate the P, and that is 116.82 newtons. That is for part one. Claro. How about this number 2? Find the reaction at B, which is the normal reaction of B. Okay, ganun pa rin. Titingin lang tayo sa isang plane kung saan masisimplify natin yung drawing and masosolve na natin yung um, unknowns. Okay, we can do it in XZ plane or we can do it in um, YZ plane. It's up to you. Basta makita mo lang na masosolve natin yung unknown. Um, here, I prepared the YZ plane. Okay? So, dito is, let's analyze this plane, the YZ plane. Again, it's up to you. You can use the um, XZ plane or this plane. Okay? So, we will be looking at this plane of you. Yun. Okay? Imagine that. Okay, and of course, we, uh, we calculated P kanina. Okay, now looking at this XZ plane, ang makikita natin dito, I mean, YZ plane, this 1.0, this is the um, axis, the Y and Z axis. Okay? So, imagine this. At point A, andito na yun. That one. This is point A, and ito yung point B. Okay? Again, um, ipapakita, uh, idodraw natin kung ano yung mga forces na makikita dito. Okay? Of course, we have the AY. Makikita natin yan. Yung AZ, ito naman. Yung AX, is that na lang sa dito. Kumbaga, wala na siyang uh, contribution dito. Okay? Now, itong NB naman, ito na yung, uh, by the way, ito yung weight, no? Ang yung NB is this one. Makikita na natin yung MB. I hope you imagine that, no? Kasi nakatingin tayo sa YZ plane. And may ibang forces pa ba? Itong P, ano yung makikita natin dyan? Okay, look at this, ha? This P has um, components that we have the vertical and the horizontal component. So, this horizontal component, magiging dot na lang sa dito. But this um, vertical component of P, makikita natin yan pa upward. ba? I hope you imagine that, no? And that upward force here will be the vertical component of P or P sine of 45 degrees. Okay. So, uh, uh, take note, we have calculated the P na 116.82. And again, if we'll take moment about A, the remaining unknown is NB. And we can calculate na that unknown. Claro. Okay. And we, uh, by the way, this is 4 meters here. And this is 3.15 meters, this one. Okay. And also this 1.575. Now, um, summation of moment about A parallel to the x axis. Okay? Uh, in a way, wa wag na kayong malito dito. Summation of moment about A na lang. Okay, and we um, we will be calculating the moments that is uh, along this axis. Axis. Okay, this axis. Ito yung i-calculate natin. This uh, this axis at this is at this point. Okay? So summation of moment about A, let's say clockwise positive pa rin, um, counterclockwise negative. So we have 375 will cause clockwise rotation out at A times 1.575 then this P 
this P sine 45 will cause counterclockwise rotation, so minus P is 116.82 sine of 45 times the moment arm na 3.15. Okay, then minus NB pa rin will cause counterclockwise rotation times 4. Okay, I hope klaro ito. So as you can see, we can solve the NB 82.61 newtons. Okay. Now, for number 3, we want to calculate the total reaction at A. Okay, so we calculated the P and the NB na. So if you want to calculate the total reaction at A, that should be the resultant of these three components. Okay, so how to calculate this all individual components ng A natin, the reaction at A. Okay, the same manner pa rin. Titingin tayo ng um, views kung saan masasod natin siya. But as you can see, we can... Imagine naman siguro dito, no? Okay. Summation of moment, uh, I mean, summation of forces along x direction. Okay. Look at this, ha? Along x direction, ang makikita nating forces is ax and this um, horizontal component of P. Ito lang yung dalawa yung ang um, forces na along x direction. So, we can conclude that ax is equals to P sine of I mean, P cosine of 45 degrees. And that is 82.6 newtons. Okay. Now, summation of forces along Y. Okay, imagine. Ano yung mga Y forces dito? That will be this AY, this vertical component of P, and this 375 newtons weight. Okay, so we have AY plus 116 or P sine of 45 minus 375 equals to 0. And we have AY is 292.4 newtons. Excuse me. Okay. Now, AZ naman. Summation of forces along Z. So, again, look at this drawing. Ano yung mga components or forces na along Z axis? Of course, we have this AZ and we have this A and B that is along to the X, I mean the Z axis. Okay. So, as you can see, AZ is just the NB or just 82.61 newtons. Okay? So, after we solve all the components here, we can calculate the total reaction at A. And that is just by this formula, the Pythagorean theorem formula in 3D um, mata, three-dimensional view. Okay? So, substitute all the given parameters. So, AX is this one, 82.6. AY is this one, 292.4, and AZ is this one, 82.61. So, we have calculated the total reaction at A. Okay, that is for part 3. So, actually, no, sa, sa board exam, ang tinanong dito is find the vertical reaction at A lang, or the AY. Okay, so, ginawa ko dito para mas general, kinumpute natin lahat. Okay, so, I hope you understand well, no, or practice lang ng practice that is the key talaga the repetition is the key to master everything kahit anong aspect ng buhay okay so i hope you enjoy this and please um, share this to your friends na gustong gustong matuto okay so consider to continue to um, support us on our page and our youtube channel okay uh, for more videos to be uploaded Okay, thank you for watching and bye-bye everyone.